What the fuck? Brag. What am I supposed to do with all of this? Brag. I think, like, my mom just, I don't know, she caught up to the fact that, like, I just grew a little bit of a liking to, like, San Pellegrino. Yeah, she's damn gone ahead and bought me 12 one liter plastic bottles of San Pellegrino. Unnecessary? Yes. Um, but I'm grateful. So, thank you, Mom. Jeez, man. Let's put some up on the shelf. Put one in the fridge because there is no way I am drinking this even in one week. All right, so guys, um, I don't have too much time left because I got to go and uh, drive in like 10 minutes. So just for this segment, I'm just going to go through very briefly what I wanted to record for this video today. I apologize. I've been a little bit busy, um, which I will basically outline, you know, I, a good portion of what's on my mind at the moment. Um, and uh, yeah, just how life's going so far uh, since September. So maybe, I guess this is kind of like, like my, you know, um, like a September uh, checkup or recap. But uh, yeah, anyways, it's the 20th, I believe it's the 22nd. So yeah, 22nd of September. So yeah, uh, one more week and September is going to a close. So yeah, I just felt uh, to leave this off since I haven't been uploading for a while. So guys, what is on my mind? What is in my head right now? And what is just taking up so much bandwidth and just keeping me so busy? First of all, one, it is school. Of course, everybody has school. That being said, there's like two to three weeks left of, of school. Like I have a, the week afterwards, I have one more week of school for this term and then two weeks of holidays. And then two more weeks, I don't know, like for term four, you just, I don't know, like just fucking revise for exams. So I think that's what it is. And, you know, a few more assignments, which I'm not too worried about anymore. Um, I just feel like this last end of the year, as everything is like starting to really, really transition into a dog for me, I feel like I just can't give a shit about school anymore, especially when I have all these other things that are on my mind as well. So there's that, that is school. Next is my NSO. Uh, I want to get that done by the end of the year. Um, it's just a research document. It stands for niche service offer. It's just a simple thing that I do for due diligence, but uh, I've been reminded um, a few times consulted recently and, and seeing a few, a few posts um, from the people around me that, uh, yeah, maybe I sh probably should just start get going and um, you know, start doing the outreach, but, uh, yeah, that's something I want to work through, you know, that kind of mindset that thinks like I need to be perfect in everything. So next is I got night driving every Saturday or Sunday. It really depends. And that's just driving for one hour, but that hour, of course, like anything, um, it like cuts my work into pieces. And to me, I don't like that to me. I like, you know, just big work blocks, you know, big batches of time for focus. Hence why, you know, usually on a 24 hour basis, my work blocks are five hours. Maybe that's not efficient, but that is just currently what I'm doing. And of course, uh, on the side, I'm just checking support, especially with uh, Big Day, as I have uh, signed up for a trial on Big Day. Um, as a part of D being DL students, we get a 30 day trial and I tried it. It didn't really work for me because I work out from home. I have very limited equipment um, and I don't have an Apple watch. Um, so it's harder to track runs. 
So there's that. And uh, one more thing which I will go on uh, in the next segment because I don't think I'll be able to record it in time. It's 5.55, about five more minutes left. So let's pick up the pace with this. So next is filtering and auditing connections. That is as simple as auditing the people that I call with on a weekly basis. I call a lot of people, accountability partners, friends, and I feel like I need to really actually hone down and go deeper on the people who actually give a shit about attending the calls on time because I've had a, a few uh, rough weeks already with some people who, like we're friends, like I don't have any hate towards them, but they're not, they're just not active and they're not um, engaged with me at all. And to me, it's like, I, I, I just need to focus on my own worth, you know, seeing as I have a lot on my plate. Next thing is I have four offers going along the way. These are freelancing work type offers with another organization. Um, so just to outline four, the first one is a setting role um, for this brokerage. I've recently gotten some consultation from um, a few helpful people who cared enough um, to, to warn me about it because um, to be honest, I, I didn't really audit the offer. Um, and it, it, they say it's a setting role, but it's very complicated and it's very unorganized in terms of the structure, especially when it's a company you should be auditing and they should have these things in fine detail, but they just don't. So that was a red flag and I just uh, needed to consider that. I'll still be going through with it. I've already signed on as a appointment setter. Uh, the contracts all signed like two weeks ago. It's just now I just need to do the work and see what happens uh, from there. But yeah, I'm not really honestly seeing or trying to make money from it. I'm trying to learn. I know I'm a beginner. So that's just my mindset. Yeah, I guess I didn't see it uh, until uh, helpful members from the DL community uh, pointed it out. The next one is a email sequences for this company to filter out their leads and uh, you know, get them to book. And I get a commission kickback on it. All of these are commission kickback except for the last one. The third one is a email uh, sequences flow for an e-com store. I got that because I was referred to uh, by a friend that I've been having weekly calls with. He's been able to help me out on uh, improving my equipment, uh, specifically my storage, which luckily now isn't too much of a concern. Um, so yeah, I depending on how busy I am and how organized I can be, I may or may not take that up. I may just refer that to someone else who I trust and I believe you know really deserves a sign of success and experience for once. And then the fourth one, which may or may not happen in four months, is uh, me. Uh, they've offered me uh, an offer to do their video editing for their content distribution. Um, they're in the UK and they do uh, media for, I believe, like beauty salons and uh, like coffee shops, like really like those normal brick and mortar businesses. So that's really exciting. We'll see if that goes through. And honestly, by the way, guys, in terms of video editing, just really quickly, I run Premiere Pro on a school license. So by the end of the year, I may not, may not have it. So that means I will end up having to switch to DaVinci, if not another software, but uh, yeah, we'll, I'll definitely uh, walk you guys through with uh, how that goes. So yeah, and also really quickly, I uh, changed my routine. I used to always try and think I needed to get everything done in the morning, the workout, the meditation, the just the morning routine. And I realized that's so inefficient because nine times out of 10, if not honestly 10 out of 10, I woke up and I went straight back to bed. It just didn't work, even with the light alarm, even with alarming and the missions and multiple alarms. I just don't have that wheel, honestly, disciplined in the morning. So I now basically switched up to 7.30 a.m., which is 30 minutes on a school weekday. Um, so then I just have to pack up and change. And then only after school would I then start my workout, do all that. And that has reduced a lot of hesitation, a lot of you know time wasted. Because, hey, say if I didn't wake up uh, on time at 6 and start my workout, I would have lost two hours every single day on a weekly basis. That is over 10 hours plus. So to me, it was like, 
I needed to make that change. And I'll be honest, it's been maybe a week or so or two weeks since I've made that change and it's actually been working pretty well. So I feel I'm gonna just stick with that. But yeah, that's just routine. Now, uh, you know, adjusting that, I will be going to bed at like 12.30. Um, and yeah, that, I guess that works fine with me. I'm, I'm honestly not a morning person. I've, I'm honestly more of a night owl, so I guess that works better for me. And as well as that, that allows me to get on calls with uh, the brokerage that I'm working with and also transition better into Kieran's calls, uh, coaching calls with Scott, uh, DL community calls and mindset calls if necessary. So honestly, it's been a plus and I think it's a good move. So I'm going to continue and stick with that. Having 168 hours a week, I just need to audit my time better, especially as school is alleviating a little bit more with work. I found myself honestly being feeling a little lost um, when I use my time because it's just, I'm just like, okay, I have all this time now. Like, what do I do? Like that's, so yeah, I'm currently right now I'm struggling with time management and uh, focus problems, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to get that on lock and uh, set in a uh, habitual routine in stone. So I've even time audited myself uh, on, you know, we've included the budget, I just made it an extra budget um, really, really quickly. Don't worry, I didn't put um, uh, fucking 10 hours into it. You know, I did a time audit of my, my week and Apparently after everything, I have like 30% of my time left. So that is about uh, like 50 hours, 55 hours. So yeah, I, I feel like, yeah, I don't really have an excuse and uh, I just simply need to manage my time better. Guys, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I, I need to wrap, wrap this up, but guys, September has just been feeling so overwhelming. I feel like I have so much on my plate and so much pressure and expectations like if i were to describe september it was like i didn't get much work done but then i also got a few wins and and you know good news on the way it was a mix of good and bad music like if it was like a wave it would be like this highs lows highs lows highs lows highs lows i i couldn't predict what was going to happen you know next week i just i just didn't um I just didn't have things in order and uh, I'm trying to do that now and uh, start journaling again, start writing my POAs, start reading um, and uh, yeah, start visualizing. I feel like visualization is an important tool as well. Honestly, that taught me again that I need to hone down on my why, uh, hold my purpose and uh, always repeat to myself and affirm to myself the purpose and the why and why I'm doing all these things and get me to it's also taught me to just focus more and, and learn to respect my time more and uh, you know, tolerate less of people's BS. Just really focus and get my priorities straight again. On the grateful side, I am able to make money and do what I believe um, is helpful for my career, my future, so that one day I can, I can give back to people and provide for the people I love, my friends, family, community, and hopefully with a big enough vision, um, maybe the world. That's something along the lines of the prayers I repeat to myself every day um, as I do prayer. Um, and uh, yeah, don't touch on religion too much because I'm, I'm still trying to figure that out, but uh, getting close to God this year, and that's honestly been just life-changing. That's pretty much it for this segment. That's all I can record for now. Um, I will record in like 30 minutes, an hour, uh, we'll see just to wrap up this video um but yeah guys i asked god for pressure and he gave me it so there's really nothing i i want to complain about because i know that life is not just the good stuff in it you know it has to be uh, roses and fairy tales and you know looking at life with rose tinted glasses i'm very realistic and i have my expectations quite realistic so to me this stuff this pressure, this work, this friction, um, it was expected and it's a uh, part of the journey. So to end off on this clip, I remember a quote that I've seen and it really resonated with me, which was, I can't cry about having a lot on my plate when my goal was to eat. So yeah, take that how you guys will and uh, 
yeah, I'm going to go ahead and drive now. And uh, I will see you guys later.